Greetings, how you doing? This is Adam Rafferty, funky fingerstyle guitarist from New York City. And I have a, sort of a, a different kind of video today for you. As you can hear, my voice is very boomy in this room. There's lots of echo. And I've just invested in some professional, good acoustic treatment material. I'm gonna install it, I'm gonna take you on the journey, and then you can decide if the room sounds better after that. So uh, before we go any further, be sure to go like my Facebook page because that's what life's all about. It's all about Facebook. Please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment or question once you've, uh, either right now or, or once you've heard the difference in the two sounds. Let me explain to you how I'm recording the sound. Uh, at, there will be times I will switch to this camera mic that you're looking at. You're going to hear that right now. Check, check, check. Okay. And there are other times where I'm going to let you hear... Ooh, I shouldn't have lifted it because the sound probably wobbled. This is the Zoom H6. So check, check, check. And you're probably getting a whole lot of this short reverb and... Oh, oh, oh. That, that kind of... Ha, ho, mm, honky kind of bass frequency. Honky. Uh, the jive honky bass frequency in the room. Let's just listen acoustically. Oh, oh. You hear that? Hear that after? Now, of course, a little bit of Reverb on a guitar is a nice thing, but I teach uh, on video in this room, so there's talking. I want to do my podcast in this room, so there's talking. And if I want to do little demo mixes, uh, it's terrible to have this kind of reflection. There are other videos that can get really into why you don't want the reflection, but basically you're not sure what you're hearing out of the speakers and what you're hearing because of the reflection. Particularly, corners get all sorts of bass frequencies swirling, so you want to have bass traps in the corners. You know, I decided to go professional. Since this is my new studio, it's New Year, I want a fresh start. So I went to a company called GIK Acoustics. They seem to be true experts in this room treatment and they have some room kits and they have great uh, guys there to consult with but one of the coolest things is you can actually draw your room on their software place your furniture everything and then they look at your room in a 3d modeler and they can explain to you which products of theirs you should get and why. Let's go to the software screen. I'm going to show you what they did and then we're going to unbox this stuff and I'm going to mount it and we're going to see the beginning and after. So once again, this is before installation. Check. That's on the main camera. Before installation on the H6. Check, check, check. And a good old E chord. E minor chord. All right, so let's take a look at their on-screen software and I'll show you how I planned the room. All right. Okay, so here is my room. And you can see it even says here, Video Guitar Lessons YouTube. There's the door. I was able to place a lamp here in the corner, a table. This is the, probably the computer desk. I did this on their website, and then they got back to me with another link. They were able to put this into 3D. They came back with a design with the acoustic treatment. Come on. There we go. How cool is that? So these are the ceiling panels. This would be where 
maybe I would do a little bit of mixing. This is where I would sit when I record, and I'd have these standalone panels that I can move around. I'll tell you what I ordered in case you look at the GIK Acoustics site. I ordered their room kit number four. It's four bass traps in the corners. I've ordered one more 242, it's this panel. So I have seven of those in all. And I'm gonna put them all on stands instead of mounting them on the wall. Because you see, if you look in the other camera, I got this window here. You know, how the heck am I gonna mount something on a window? So I got more stuff there. So uh, when I'm mixing, I can kind of put them around me. Or when I'm playing guitar, recording, doing a video, I can kind of put them around me as needed. Okay, so I can improvise since they're freestanding. That's the plan. Let's see if it sounds different and let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> Try to get it in the screen. This thing is gonna, you probably can't see it, it's gonna stand in the corner. Let's go to the to the corner cam. Beautiful. One corner's got those, other corner's got those. So those are base traps. And voila, so I'm going to stand this up and uh, that's what the baffle looks like. I'm going to go to a handheld here. So I've got four of these baffles now up on their stands, but in a few seconds for you, but tomorrow for me, we're going to deal with uh, mounting three of these on the ceiling. Alrighty. All right, gang, so mounting this stuff on the ceiling is kind of challenging. I've had to call on the expertise of my girlfriend's dad because we have to drill into concrete. We've been measuring, so just so you get an idea of what's happening here. Helmut, say like hello to YouTube. <laughs> All right, so we're drilling now. Okay, gang, so after making a whole lot of noise with my girlfriend's dad, we got these suckers mounted. That's two of the 242 panels mounted over this little mixing area, and then one of them mounted over the area where I normally sit to do YouTube stuff. All right, so now I'm going to unbox the Monster Bass Trap. That's going to live there for now. All right. All righty, we are back. And the final judge, let's do the final test. It's how does it sound? Just comparing, and I've got the Zoom H6 recording in the same spot, more or less. I've got the cameras uh, the same, more or less. How does it sound? So let's do, a let's do a test. Let's do a chest. Let's do a test. And I will go back and forth between the video from yesterday where I was clapping and today. And let's see if we can hear a difference. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Okay, I still hear a little bit of reflection, but it's it's nothing really terrible. I bet I could, I bet I could tighten it up. And then guitar-wise, I think what I did was I just strummed some chords real hard with a flat pick, so. We're doing it to see what kind of uh, short reverb we get. To my ear, from what I remember from yesterday, this sounds better. There's still a little bit of reflection, but it's very pleasant. 
to my ear. Uh, I want to know what you think. Uh, write a comment. Let, let me know. Now, these panels uh, that I've bought, you can certainly make them yourself. It just seemed like a lot of work for me. You know, it, the materials might not cost that much, but all the driving around and buying the fabric and you know, cutting stuff and not having all the tools I need, et cetera, et cetera. It was just easier for me to delegate that and have the best guys send me their stuff. So that's GIK Acoustic. What I wanted to say was you can mess around with mics and preamps and plugins and all that, but if your room where you're recording is messed up, that that's the beginning of problems that you probably can't get rid of. Anyhow, let me know your opinion. Let me know what you think of the room treatment. Subscribe here to the YouTube channel, or if it's on Facebook, I don't know, just do something. Just click a button, do something. Alrighty, God bless. Take care. Thanks for watching.